1010 was wasted potential. If there's any indication that a character has no worth, look at the runtime for this video. That's about as long as we've seen 1010 be active in the world of Naruto. I find it crazy that a lot of people would say Sakura is useless when 1010 is right there for the title. Sakura may have been useless at points because she was weak earlier in the show, but 1010's character is useless as a whole given that she practically contributes nothing to the overall story. I could actually see arguments being made for Sakura being useless or useful. You can't convince me otherwise about 1010 though. One of 1010's most notable moments comes in the form of a loss against Tamari in the Chunin exams which we technically didn't see. In the manga, we never really got to see the real fight. From panel to panel, it showed the announcer starting the match, it cut to a few panels relating to Sakura and Ino, then it showed 1010's back being blown out by Tamari, with the latter achieving victory. At least in the anime version, 1010 was able to put up a fight, granted not a very good one, as Tamari was generally unfazed by 1010's attacks, always just blowing her weapons away with her gusts of wind. So much for the weapon specialist. After her loss against Tamari, 1010 got regulated to a lesser than side character, as her only notable thing in the remainder of this arc, really the remainder of part 1 of Naruto, was her glazing Neji to the 10th degree when it came to his fight against Naruto, commenting in a way that makes it feel like she's fangirling over Neji, even though I'm sure Neji wouldn't care for it. She a fan, she a fan, she a fan. Aside from that, that's pretty much the remainder of her character at this point of the story, not including filler. She hadn't anything to do for the search of Tsunade, nor was she included in the retrieval of Sasuke. Not like that she would have been at a benefit in those arcs, at least for what we know of her at this point. Maybe if she was included in the Sasuke retrieval arc, it could have gave more credence to her being a weapon specialist, but I'm sure if she was, it would have been a fodder attempt. And in all honesty, it doesn't get any better, and if anything, it's gonna get worse for her. What would be a benefit though, is you hitting the like button and subscribing for more content. There's plenty of Naruto videos on this channel to fulfill your needs, as well as some Dragon Ball sprinkled throughout. So be sure to share and like the video, as well as subscribing for more content in the future. You won't regret it. Tenten does finally get some screen time in the Kazakage retrieval arc, which is great for all five of her fans. And given what was shown in this arc, it makes me wonder why she was included at all. Now to be fair, I don't think any of Team Guy should have been here to begin with. This is the part of the arc that drags for the most part. Starting off with their fight against Kisame, who was just using a 30% clone, it was a useless fight contextually speaking for this arc, as it could have been removed and it wouldn't have mattered. Same with the Itachi fight that was happening alongside this. With just this 30% clone, Kisame was able to put a good fight against Team Guy, which had three of its members locked up in water ball jutsus, including Tenten. Again, to give credit, everyone was having a difficult time against Kisame, so I'm not going to give her crap for it. What I will mock, however, is her fight against herself. How do you almost lose to a clone of yourself? Now, I will say that in general that this fight was pretty much pointless and serves to continue my point in Team Guy not needing to be here. At least in the manga, the fight was shown in a few panels and nothing more. The anime version, however, was completely drawn out and can be considered one of the worst fights in the show. And it's here where most of Team Guy were shown to be losing their battles. With their solution being just get better, it didn't make me like that interaction any more than I already have, especially for 1010's case, as we don't see much of her until the war arc. By the time the war arc arrives, majority of the side characters in Naruto, including 1010, have mitigated roles, as by now, it's the Naruto and Sasuke show. So you would think the story would end here for 1010. Well, we couldn't have been further from the truth. During the war arc, she fought alongside some other ninjas to fight Kakuzu and managed to take out one of his hearts using the Bashuen, earlier used by Kinkaku, before losing it in his battle against Darui. At least she wasn't useless with the tool then, however, near the end of the war arc, Tenten literally had access to some of the treasure tools of the Sage of Six Pass after Madara spat them out, after being considered useless to him. Tenten, for some reason, just pockets them and amounts to nothing. She was handed some of the most powerful weapons the ninja world has come to know, and she doesn't utilize them in a time where it'd be most appropriate to do so and ends up just storing them in her shop as trophies to display, as if she earned the right to do so. Now I get that she may not have been strong enough to wield the weapons, but it still goes to show that her title as a weapon specialist means nothing if she can't even figure out a way to utilize them, again in a time where it'd be most necessary. You can chalk it up to 1010 not being developed enough to warrant the strength increase, but it just goes back to my original point of her being useless in general. Look, at the end of the day, 1010 was just a wasted character, more so than you think. People like to give Sakura crap for being useless, but at least I can argue she improved when it came to that in later parts of the show. There's no excuse for Tenten. I deem her to be a character of irrelevancy, since if you were to take her out of the story, I'm sure most people wouldn't care to begin with. That said, let me ask you guys a question. Do you think Tenten was utilized to her best effect? How do you feel about Tenten as a whole, and did you enjoy her tenure in the show? I'd love to get y'all's thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click the card you see here, which will take you to my video on other female characters in Naruto, and them actually being useful in the story. I'm the curly-haired Okage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.